Hi, in this video, you'll be learning about the data science life cycle. A data science life cycle is an iterative set of steps used to analyze and interpret data. The specific steps or the amount of steps that are part of a data science life cycle can vary from team to team or project to project. In this course, our data science life cycle will consist of four different steps. Let's take a look at them. The first step is to ask questions. Specifically, we want to ask statistical questions. These are questions where we need data to be able to answer them, and the data usually consists of some variability. The next step is to consider data. Once you have your questions, you can start to consider data that is already available to you, such as online or a different resource, or you can go out and record your own data. But once you do have your data, you can move on to the next step, which is analyzing your data. In this step, you'll perform statistical analysis, run calculations, create visualizations, and identify patterns and relationships within your data. This step is usually one of the most time-consuming steps in all of the data science lifecycle. Once you finish with this step, you can then move on to interpreting your data. By now, you'll have all of the necessary information to answer the statistical questions that were asked in the beginning. All you'll need to do is answer the questions and summarize your results. Together, these four steps make up the data science life cycle that we'll be using in this course. It's called a cycle because the steps can and usually are revisited many times throughout the process. Let's now take a look at an example. Let's start with asking a question. We need to be careful here though, because not all questions are statistical questions. For example, the question, how tall are you, is not a statistical question because you can get an answer from just one person and the data will not vary. We need questions where we have to collect some data and we can expect the data to have variability. So a good example would be, what is the most common color of the cars in the school parking lot? This question requires us to collect some data that has some variability. So let's say that we go out into the parking lot and we write down in a table all of the cars and what their colors are. That process is part of the considering data step. All we were doing was just collecting the information that we need in order to answer our question. Now that we have our data, we can move on to analyzing the data. The data in this example is actually pretty small, so we can actually just analyze it by looking at it and counting the values. So you can see that black is the most common car color in the school parking lot. Great, now it's your turn to go and explore the different steps in the data science lifecycle. 